On this episode of Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, we find ourselves in Utah, investigating a mysterious crater in Canyonlands National Park. Come along and let's see what this mystery is all about. Upheaval Dome is unlike anything else in Canyonlands National Park, or the rest of Utah for that matter. The outer rim of this feature is three miles across, rising over 1,000 feet above its lowest point. There are two prevailing theories on how this structure formed. First, there is the salt dome theory, which states that a subsurface layer of salt was squeezed upward by the weight of overlying rock. Think of it as a geologic pimple that fractured its way to the surface. The second hypothesis is that this is an eroded meteorite impact crater. For decades, there was no clear-cut answer due to erosion. There are no remnant pieces of salt or related minerals to support the salt dome theory, nor was there any molten rock, ejected or crushed rock, or minerals altered by a high-pressure impact to support the impact crater theory. But keep watching, and maybe we'll solve this mystery. In the 1990s, a team of geologists and seismologists from NASA and the University of Nevada studied upheaval dome, including seismic refraction and rock mapping. The results supported the meteorite theory. Then in 2007, two German scientists reported finding quartz crystals that had been shocked by the high pressure of a meteorite crater, which to this day is the mostly accepted theory and what created this strange feature. So the mystery here is this is a two mile wide crater. And the mystery is what formed it. Some people think it was a salt dome that pushed up and pushed the rock and fractured it that way. But the more prevalent theory is that a meteorite hit this area and there is more evidence that suggests that theory. So I think before we can come to a final conclusion on whether or not this crater is from a salt dome or from a meteorite impact, we're gonna have to go and check out some other viewpoints to make sure we've got a full understanding of the size of this thing. much bigger view here, more expansive view of the crater. Although the colorization of the rock at the center might give the appearance of a salt dome, there is no actual salt. This is the uplifting of mostly white rim sandstone an Oregon shale, and it rises nearly 750 feet from the center of the crater. All right, so that is really fascinating. And just for the record, there is a trail here at Canyonlands that goes all the way around the crater, as well as a trail that goes inside the crater. Um, but it is several miles long more than we have time to do today. We'd have to start first thing in the morning. But uh, we're gonna take this and, uh, I don't know, put it to our scientific thinking and make our own decisions on it, aren't we? Yep. All right, in conclusion, I'm no scientist, but Catfish here, he is going to produce College of Science, so he will be a scientist. So what is your conclusion on this? 
I think it's more plausible to say that a meteor may have hit this area and simply just like blasted the rocks to around it. Mm -hmm. Yep, the rock had to go somewhere, didn't it? Yeah, but like with the salt of people, I feel like it just doesn't make as much sense how salt just pushes up other soil. All right, so yeah, I'm no scientist, so I'm gonna give my completely unscientific viewpoint of this. For me, that big salt dome, that's not salt. That's a cocoon. That's where Mothra is currently sleeping before Godzilla comes along and wakes him back up. Take that to the bank. Well, until next time, folks. Peace, Peace out. out.